What's up, dudes? It's the freaking Deke. I'm back in the shop. Oh my God, I've been out in the shop for the last three nights working on my build table. So I decided I'm gonna start the year off with drilling my build table so it can accept clamps and different fixtures. I thought it was gonna be crisp, dudes. I was like, oh, this is gonna be a great idea. Little did I know that it was gonna take me five hours of drilling. I wish that was a joke, dude. It took me five hours. I've seriously been doing this for the last three nights. What? What? Yeah, dudes, no kidding. It's a lot of time. I'm gonna tell you guys all about it. I'm gonna walk through how I laid it out and what I did. Did? Hmm. And what I did, that's better. Um, but I'm too excited. I, I decided not to film drilling all the holes because literally five hours, like how boring is that? Um, but I did save the last hole. Yes, I did. And I've got here, I'm excited. And so it is time to drill the last hole in my table. Let's get to drilling. Oh, last hole, dudes. I'm so psyched. I'm so psyched. Let's drill this, dude. Okay. Watch the bit break on the last one. That would seriously be my luck. It would also be hilarious, but I'd be bummed. Okay, uh, here's the last hole. Hopefully you guys are freaking as psyched as I am. Let's go, last hole, here we go. <laughs> yes! Sweet glorious yes, dudes. Last hole's drilled, table, not quite finished because after you drill the holes, you could stop right there and leave it. And that's honestly fine, but pro move, dude. Countersink bit. Countersinking each hole, like just makes putting in your clamps a lot easier, helps stuff from getting hung up on your table. Plus it looks good, all right? So let's look at the difference between countersunk and non-countersunk. Not countersunk, countersunk. See him? Such a better look. Looks so much cleaner to have him countersunk. And honestly, more useful. So I'm gonna countersink these, then we'll go over it. Let's go. Glorious, bros. All the holes are officially countersunk. All the holes are officially drilled. Feeling freaking psyched about it. It's time to sweep and then review. Commence of the sweeping. Ah, oh, yes, dudes, yes. Seriously, glorious, yes. It was a big project to drill this table. It was a big project to countersunk, sunk, hmm? Countersink this table. And it was a freaking even larger project cleaning up the mess. What a freaking nightmare. What a nightmare, what a nightmare. But the table is done. I am feeling happy about it. Here's what it looks like. Okay, let's point out a few things just as a quick review. If you are thinking about doing this yourself to your table, um, you have to freaking get a mag drill, dude. Five eighths bit, rent one if you don't have one. A mag drill is a must. I probably would recommend a carbide toothed one, but you can get a regular mag drill, you know, 40 bucks. Carbide tips, obviously gonna be 80. I ended up going through two annular cutters, mag drill bits, call them what you will. I burned up two on this table project um, alone, uh, but worth it. <clears throat> For a four by four table, it's gonna be about five hours, dudes, and two mag drill bits. And so it's not expensive to do it, 80 bucks. It's worth doing, but it is a big project. So just be aware that the undertaking is of the largest magnitude. You know what I mean? Although crisp, dude, I laid out all my lines with just a straight edge and they're not exactly perfect. So on a side note, if you are thinking about doing it, the 
the manufactured ones are perfect. All the holes are perfect. Everything is dead nuts square. And if I would have known how big of, no, I see I like doing it myself, but I think like if I would have known, I would have just bought one. And I, you know, I've had the CertiFlat table before it and it's a great table, but it's not the custom made poker table that the Deke has come to know and love. So overall, I'm happy I drilled mine. Yes, it was a pain. Yes, it was a lot of work, but ultimately it was worth it. Another thing I did that I really like is I offset them at every two inch on the perimeter of the table. Then the insides, I did an offset at four inch. I think that was a good idea just to save the amount of holes I actually had to punch in the table. And offsetting at four inch is probably enough. Like, who are we kidding? Do you think that in my whole life, I will ever use every single one of these holes? Probably not, but it looks good. And it, it is nice to have options. Still, I don't think that the middle needed to be drilled as heavily as the edges. And so that's kind of the vibe I went with. Um, this section, this like gnarly gap, from here over it's laid out dead nuts on that 2-4 plan. Here to catch the center of my support leg, I had to offset it, but I'm not, once again, not overly worried about it. Another thing to take into consideration if you are gonna do this, is take note of where your table supports are. You know, I have the two by two that runs on the bottom of my table. You don't wanna catch a side of this. That would suck. So I made sure when I first laid it out, I did my hard lines first, which is I need the center of this, I need the center of this support, and I did it all the way around. That is probably the best advice I could give is, hey, check your supports underneath and think about it a little ahead of time before you just start blasting frickin' holes, dude. You wanna know another funny thing? These two little holes right here are half inch, and obviously every hole needs to be 5 eighths. I drilled these two holes when I first got my mag drill just to try it out, and so, I think that's funny. It's funny how like when you get a chainsaw, you want to cut down every single tree. And those two holes is like, I got a mag drill. I need to drill some holes, you know? Ridiculous, ridiculous. But yeah, um, that's it. Pretty much just a quick light review of me drilling my table. And it consisted of 5 8 annular cutter, um, countersink bit, doesn't have to be expensive. Those are cheap and dude, countersink bits are an absolute must. The, the finish makes it more crisp. And then just check your supports. Uh, overall, I'm happy I did it. I think it's cool, it looks cool, it feels legit, and uh, definitely gonna be very useful. So yeah, yeah, you know what? I would recommend you guys drill your own table. Dude, the relief of me finishing this project, I could just chit chat all day. I'm about to call my friends on the phone now that I'm done with this, just be like, hey, what's up dudes? You know what I mean? Uh, I'm just hanging out, feeling good because project done. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it, dudes. It's drilled, I'm so psyched. The poker table just got one step cooler. Well, hopefully you got some insights, I guess. Like that's, I mean, it wasn't a huge, long, crazy video where I do a bunch of gnarly stuff. It's more just a video of like, dude, look how sweet my table looks which I'm patting myself on the back, but make your table just as sweet, dude. This is where the money is made, is on our build tables. So the better, more efficient, and cooler they are, the better, more efficient, and cooler you will be also. Ha <laughs> ha! And on those wise words from the mother freaking Deke, I am the mother freaking Deke, and I'm out. <laughs>